A child finds drugs at home and turns them into police. The person taken into custody, his own mother. Really, it's heartbreaking moments right there that unfolded, all caught on video. 80s Now investigator Vanessa Murphy has this story you'll only see here. A child hands a police officer a bag of drugs. Well, thank you. So we were called to come check on your son. A second police officer tries to comfort him. What's up, little man? What's what's going on? Hey, I'm Officer Hanson. What's you scared? What's going on, man? What's going on? Do you want to take a do you want to take a seat on the bench? He's got my phone in the bathroom for like an hour. This is the boy's mother, Kendra Long. I have, I have no idea. I have no idea what that is. <clears throat> well, you just handed it to me. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. So this is your child? This is my baby. Yes, he's been in the bathroom for an hour. Okay. Literally an hour. Cool. The child had FaceTimed his father while locked in the bathroom. The parents are divorced. The dad called police. He was showing Tony this stuff that he found in the house. I don't even know what that is. Well, I don't either. The other officer then talks to the nine-year-old boy who's in tears. And what did what did you find inside the house that, that, that made you scared? Okay. Do you know what drugs look like? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> he takes some deep breaths. He says he found the drugs under his mother's nightstand. I just saw a couple of bodies. I was curious. Mm -hmm. Pour it out and then... I didn't really know what it was. Yeah, from like TV and stuff? What? Like you thought like maybe it was drugs from like yeah. TV and stuff? Yeah. Officers examined the drugs. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of meth. Wow. It's not just like a little baggie, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's, it's like one of my top five, you know, in my 20-year career of, of meth hauls. I can honestly say after 21 years, this is the first time that a kid's walked out with 12 pounds of meth yeah. in a baggie and handed it to us. If that is meth, and yeah, that's that's quite a bit of meth. It's not just, you know, recreational or personal use. That's, that's like enough for, you know, a couple hundred people to party on a weekend. Over. Yeah. Turns out this was more than 100 grams of meth, according to police. But you do have the right to remain silent. Me? Uh-huh. If you give up that right, you can say anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. Um, it's in your house. Um, this is your house. It's, this is not my, I don't even know this was here. I don't even, this, I can't even understand a problem the fact that this is drugs in my house. Long right. is arrested for drug trafficking and child abuse. Does Cuss feel okay? This was in July of 2022. Long posted a $25,000 bond that same day. Violated a family court order and broke numerous other rules, court records show. Still, she received no hard prison time and was given probation, which prosecutors say she violated. She was also sent to an inpatient drug treatment program. In her criminal case, prosecutors pointed to these text messages showing she clearly was dealing drugs. You want a $100 bag or half? The deal taking place with her son home. Why I'm here in the first place is to sell you meth. So it appears this was all an act. I mean, to me, it looks probably like methamphetamine, you know. What um, is that? You know what meth is. Like speed or whatever. Like, I mean, I've, Come what, on. What Everybody knows what meth is. You watch Breaking Bad. I mean, Jesus. I have never seen Breaking Bad. Well, you should. Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on!